An educational comedy. It's not a cause. Not a movement. It's not a social group you can slap a label on to. It's an idea. It's an intention. It's an intuition. A mindset in which reality can be explored. It's a genuine expression. A certain Critical thinking and imagination. To look inward upon ourselves. To better understand the external world around us. And yes, few egos are bound to be bruised. With our silly, strange, politically incorrect, pure time and velvet style of going about things. Real, Real and raw honesty. Which invites you to be you to the fullest. Let's take a ride on the magic school bus, back in time to 2004, when things were conducted primarily on old school telephone systems, Telnet VBSs, IRC chat rooms, on TeamSpeak, and using Shoutcast radio servers. A time before Blog Talk Radio, a time before YouTube, a time before Facebook and Twitter, before Skype, before Google Hangouts, before smartphones, before Angry Birds and Farmville. A time when a wall was something you had four of in your bedroom, and a feed was dinner at your in-laws. A time before all of the things we take for granted today. Let's travel back to the four episodes of the Pointless Audio Radio Show on Osprey Radio. A show that was an act of civil disobedience against our would-be corporate overlords, where we trolled the corporations to reveal their corruption and incompetence, and had fun doing it. A time before my early balding set in fully, I actually had some hair to speak of. You are about to hear a series of prank calls, comedy skits, mega mixes, and more. Before we occupied everything, Back in the days when we truly were all anonymous, when channeling wasn't well known, quantum physics was a word you only heard on Star Trek, and New Age was merely a reference to something that happened in the 60s. Warning. The views and opinions in this or any show are not the views and opinions of Osprey Network. We at Osprey Networks are not responsible or right about now the funk soul brother check it out now the funk soul brother right about now the funk soul brother check it out now turn that shit off man oh, Alright guys, we're, we're, we're going to open this one up in a quote-unquote prayer. This is Pointless Audio. You're tuned to the second show of Pointless Audio. Uh-huh. We plug back in. Before you leave your message, please consider this. One day, every knee will bow, and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. How are you doing, sir? This is Elder Jim Stevens from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Your name and number came up in our records as being interested in having missionaries come to your house and explain the Word of God through the Book of Mormon. And we were wondering if you would like our missionaries to come over, and if you could please call us back at our center in Utah, and we will send the two most available Mormon missionaries to your house. 
and explain the Word of God to you. Thank you. All right, there's one, guys. What did you think of that one? A little background, a uh, little background on that one, guys. Uh, the number that we called is a guy by the name of Crazy Eddie here in Woonsocket, Rhode Island. Um, his number is seven six five four three two one. Um, back in the day when people used to call him, he used to have scary uh, messages about his girlfriend and whatnot. And uh, all of a sudden, he found Jesus about five years ago, and he's had that pretty much that same message ever since. And the reason why he has that is because he knows everybody's calling him to bust on his ass. So, yeah, yeah. I don't think the guy ever. So he was a Mormon church. What do you say? What was that, Eli? Asked if he was a Mormon. Who? You. Me? Yeah. I'm not uh, <laughs> Roman Catholic right here. We should have called up and told them all about the, uh, the, uh, what is it, the, uh, Multiple Wives program through the Mormon Church. <laughs> well, uh, what we could do is we can always, uh, get the 1-800 number for the Mormons and, uh, ask about the Multiple Wives program, uh, where I've called them up many a time and fucked with them, so. <laughs> They're really fun because every person that calls, they believe them. No matter what they ask, they usually think that they're interested in getting saved. So, yeah. Yeah. Have you ever heard of these uh, uh, right wing fight men? It's called the uh, the Raelians. The Raelians are these people, and they're trying to enslave humanity to the aliens. God bless them. Did you just say they're trying to enslave the people into aliens? How extreme right wing is this group? Pretty much, pretty much. What they, what they believe, Goofy, is that God was an alien. Who the hell is this? Slasher. No shit. No, I'm referring to who thinks God's an alien. Call the Raylan. We got another one. Call. call him on the last point of the song. Who did you call? No, we didn't. Don't you just hate it? Let real life interfere with your regular career. Yeah, I know, huh? Tell you what, if we want to get into bugging extreme right-wing people, I mean, we could always find a couple of white supremacist numbers somewhere well, out there, I'm sure. We already called the KKK last show. Oh, there's always the American... <laughs> there's the... Uh, or we could go extreme left-wing and find the communists. Can't do the racist, motherfuckers. All right, we need another number, guys. We need another number. All right, you know, this is Irish, but he stands on abortion. 800 number? One. Yeah. And what is this again? Abortion by pill. Are you 46? Thank you for calling the preferred health. How may I help you? Uh, yes, ma'am. I'm, I'm wondering exactly what this uh, service entails. Um, I'm, I'm not exactly sure. I just saw this number somewhere. Somebody told me I should call this number. And uh, uh, I'm wondering exactly what you're all about. Did you want to schedule an appointment? Now, actually, I, I'm looking more more for on the phone consultation. Um, cause I, I I I'm not sure what this this is all about. I mean, um, you know, my girlfriend and I were very active, and 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 we're you know. Okay, uh, this is a this, it is a private facility, and any consultation you would need to reference to us. We don't reference the the the, the we don't reference it to you. Oh, all right. Uh, I will, because I, I, I was watching TV today. I was flipping through the channels, and I saw on the 700 Club something about uh, uh, that new pill that they got out, RU486, and that some woman died. I, I'm, I'm, I'm a little concerned because, you know, I'm trying to go for a cheap, easy method, and, and um, I don't need anybody dying or anything, you know. Um, I, I don't know how to help you. All right. Thank you, ma'am. If my dog dies, it's all your fault. <laughs> You should have star. Oh, oh my God. You should have star six seven that man. If they, oh Jesus Christ! I pulled that one out my ass. That's the way we do that, ladies and gentlemen. Serious as shit until you get to the end. <laughs> Help you. Re 
Riley, the safety associate. Oh, wonderful, Sherman. How are you? I'm wonderful. Uh, is this a telephone racer? Oh, great. All right. What, what are we doing this year? Hello? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, two, two police officers to help them better protect themselves and the communities. Now, the goal is to protect the lives of police officers, obviously, but more importantly, to protect the lives of the citizens that they serve. However, the association receives no state or federal funding. The only funding that they receive, honestly, comes from concerned supporters like yourself. Now, the paid caller with community support of the top sponsorships to help out with are the gold at 75, the silver at 50, and the bronze for 35. Now, Mr. To help oh jeez, you, you, you guys have a, like a family booster or something along those lines? A booster sponsor? Yeah, how much is that? Yeah, we do. Well, well the smallest one is 15. Do, do you guys do like out? business sponsorships too? Excuse me? Do you do business sponsorships? Uh, no, we have, the only ones we have are uh, the top sponsors, the friend sponsors, and the booster sponsors. Good. Cause I was uh um I did a 995 last year with somebody. Well, well, well the minimum, the minimum is 10. Would you like to do 10? I did a 995 with somebody last year as a business sponsor. I didn't know if you wanted to do that this year. Uh, what 995? Yeah. Well, for, well, five cents more is uh, just ten dollars. I mean, would you want to do the ten? You can do the ten if you like. You don't understand what I'm saying. I did a 995 last year with these people. You they, they gave me a full page advertisement and everything. You did. Nine ninety five, like nine dollars and ninety five cents. No, nine hundred and ninety five. Oh, nine hundred and ninety five. Oh, also, what? Are you, okay, well, um, you want to help out with something like that? Well, uh, well, this was for the uh, the Rhode Island State Police. Is that correct? Yes, it's for the Rhode Island Police Officer Safety Association. So, so it's the. So, um, what do I get if I uh, donate? Do I get like tickets to a game or something like that? Well, well, actually, uh, you you get a a supported decal. Oh, the supporter decal. Oh, is this the one that you send me the paper and I yeah, send you the thousand dollar check? You see that your home, along with the thank you letter from the director and the return address envelope for you to return your check or your money order. Oh, so um, so, so uh -huh. you get paid for this? Yes, I'm here. Okay, so I mean, well, what well, the top sponsors should start at seventy five, fifty, and thirty five. Can we count you to help out with one of these? Well, that's all you wanted me to do. I was going to do another nine ninety five. Oh, you want to you want to do nine hundred and ninety five dollars? You really do? Th that's what okay, I usually hold on do. One second, holy sure, you sure? Hold on one second, okay? Is that definitely comfortable for you? Probably, yeah. God bless you. God, hold on one second. I'm just going to get my verify, okay? Give me one second. He's going to verify your commitment as well as your name, your address, okay? <laughs> what a fucking retard! <laughs> God works in mysterious ways, my friends. God works in mysterious ways. Okay, okay, okay well, you're not gonna bust my crack house now, are you? <laughs> 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 we should have asked what the company was. Yeah, I should have. Okay. I've actually done the telephone raising like that. That was fun. Yeah, I did too. Uh, it, you know, that sounded like one of the guys that worked on our crew. Yeah, it did. Oh, uh, fuck. All right, we need somebody that else to call. Sucked, though. We need somebody else to call. Let me grab the 50 yellow pages. Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Be kind. Payback time. Thank you for calling Best Buy for Business, your new resource for brand name business IT products and... Eli, this is all yours. If you're a business customer, press 1. If you're a government agency or educational institution, please press 2. Yeah, yeah that's right. If you're interested in home entertainment or appliances at 888-BEST-BUY, press 3. Alright, so number 2. Yes, remember Eli, this is... <laughs> you may dial your business pro's extension at any time. Otherwise, the next available business pro will be with you shortly. I wonder if this is the same one. Is it BestBuy.com or is it BuyBest? We're calling Best Buy Business. This is John speaking. How can I help you? Yes, I just got from the Geek Squad. Right. Yeah, yeah and, and they said that I need to bring my computer here and you can install the operating system. Uh, Geek, Squad, Geek Squad said that we would install your operating system? Yeah, yes, for about them. Uh, well, no, we're not in installation. I mean, they do the installation. Mm -hmm. They're trying to bring it to you. They said they didn't support Windows 9 and 5 anymore. So I got the version, and then they support it, and they said bring it to you, and you didn't install it. Okay, well, you probably um, would have to bring, in to bring it into a store. There's the Best Buy business uh, counter there, and they would probably install it there. But, um... Um, we're, we're, first of all, we're the business side of Best Buy, so we're not dealing, we're dealing with business sales, it's a sales center here, we're dealing with business products. Mm -hmm. uh, are you mm -hmm. still mm -hmm. update them, they gave me this number. Yeah, I know, but they gave you the wrong number. Are you still on warranty? 
Um, no, we're not. Uh, uh, no, I bought it used. Oh, you bought it used. All right, so they, yeah, you contacted them. And, um, what I'm going to suggest you do is you go, I'm going to transfer you to 1888 Best Buy, and you're going to have to go to technical support, <laughs> all right? And they should be able to, to help you out there because you've reached the um, Best Buy business here. So you right? guys don't support Commodore 64 uh, at all? I can't, I can't hear you, sir. Hello? So um, you don't support, support the Commodore? No, sir, you've reached the wrong department. This is a sales call center you've reached. Okay, then can you forward me to okay. the right one? Okay, hold on, please. Hello, sir. The circuits are busy. Would you want to continue holding? I'll try to transfer you a little while later. Sure. We've done some fall cleaning. Please listen carefully Good so we you. can guide you to the right place. If you want to purchase products, parts, or to check the status of an existing order, press Oh, I one think this sales. is it, guys. If you're looking for help with repairs, installations, and deliveries, We're press the on a conference call. Support. Or for information about the rewards, I know that and rebates, and the BestBuy.com website, or store questions, press 3. If you're calling about our current marketing promotions, including <laughs> McDonald's Monopoly Best Chance Game, press 4. Press 2, dude. You can press 7 to hear more press details two. of the And remember, you can press yeah. Welcome to Best Buy yeah. Yeah. and Support. What product can we help you with? If it's a computer issue, press 1. For TV, home theater, or if you purchased a performance service okay, plan, okay. or an Eon computer, press 1. If you don't have a performance service plan, press 2. Do we have the performance service plan? If you have a question regarding plan? a performance service plan, press 3. No. No. To hear the menu options again, press 9. We've teamed up with Geek Squad. Oh, no, not them again! Computer technical assistance available. To pay for computer service from Geek Squad, press 1. To return to the main menu, press star. All right, we're going 1 again. We're going back to Geek service, Squad. Starting with the area code, please enter the 10-digit home telephone number associated with your purchase. Please stay on the line. Ne quittez pas. We will ne be with pas. you shortly. Ne quittez pas. Dans un instant. What about a naked diaper? No. Naked diaper. Come on. First class tech support port from Bombay, India. Hello. <laughs> Sorry, your call cannot be completed. Désolé, votre appel n'a pu être acheminé. Please hang up and dial the toll-free number again. Veuillez raccrocher et recomposer le numéro sans frais. Go to hell, infidels. <laughs> what the fuck is that all about? <laughs> Dude, God, 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 he gave me trust. He would have chased you down with an AK-47 and uh, kill you like a pig. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking foreign motherfuckers. And we shall use your skin as a turban. Hi, welcome to Best Buy. We've done some fall cleaning. Please look carefully so we you. can guide you to the right place. If you want to purchase products, I'm sorry, I didn't understand what you entered. If you want to purchase products, <laughs> check the status of an existing order, press the sales. If you're looking for help with repairs, installations, and deliveries, press 2 for service and support. Yes, I need or to help deliver to my, my, my wife's child. What product can we help you with? If it's a computer issue, press 1. For TV, home theater, or satellite issues, press 2. For appliances, press 3. For repairs, or the status of parts your technician ordered, press 1. For installation, press 2. We are calling you. You are. Thank you for calling Best Buy Appliance Installation. An agent will be with you shortly. We're, st we're installing our Commodore. Thank you for calling A1 Home Services. This call may be recorded for quality. Ooh, ask him about Windows! Thanks for calling Best Buy Installation. <laughs> this is Ernest. How can I assist you? Hello? Hello? Hassle, we hung up on him! <laughs> <laughs> He Oops. must have heard the whole Windows gag! Rebates and receipts, Best Buy.com. If you have a question about the Reward Zone program, for the status of your Best Buy.com order, press 1. To change your Best Buy.com password, press 2. For all your other Best Buy.com concerns, press 3. Here for better service, starting with the area code, please enter the 10-digit home telephone number associated with your purchase. Here at Best Buy, we take our customer service seriously. We're always looking for ways to improve. If you'd like to help us, by particular one now. Thank you. Your call is now being transferred to a customer care representative. To ensure that you have the best customer experience, your call may be monitored or recorded. So will yours. Thank you for calling Best Buy. This is JC. How may I help you? 
Yes, yeah, yeah, uh, I, I just got off the phone with Geek Squad, and they said you would help me install Windows on my computer. Oh, Windows. Okay. I'm David, so sister with that. Can I have your full name, please? Yes, yeah, Mark Oscar. Oscar. Mark Oscar. Mark, can you spell your last name for me? O S P R E Y. O S P R E Y, am I correct? Yes. Mark, do you happen to have an email address? An email address? No, ma'am. Okay, so you said that you were on the phone with Geek Squad? Yes, ma'am. Okay, let me just check on that. And they told you that we would be helping you to install your Windows? No, they said we would call you. To help install the Windows, am I correct? Yes, to install Windows on my computer, yes. Okay, so Mark, what I can do for you is I'm going to transfer you to our computer department so that they can assist you much further regarding this one. Is that all right? Uh, thank you. So thank you for calling Best Buy, Mark. May you have a wonderful day and please do stay on the line. Yes. <laughs> Hopefully you get smarter tech. I doubt it. Hello? Hello, hello? Hello? Thank you for calling Best Buy Technical Support. My name is CJ. May I have your phone number beginning with the area code, please? Yeah, 410. Yeah. I'm sorry? Yeah, 410. 410. Uh, 832. Okay. 8052. 410 Yes, sir. Is this the number you use when you bought your computer from Best Buy? Huh? Is this the number you used when you bought your computer from Best Buy? Uh, I bought a used computer. I just got it from the Geek Squad. Okay. They told me to call you. I'm sorry? I bought a used computer and they told me to call you. you you calling for the Geek Squad? I don't need to install Windows on it. Okay, you, you're calling to speak to the Geek Squad? No, I've already talked to Geek Squad. Mm-hmm. They said they need to call you. Then you could install Windows for me. But we're a prepaid performance service plan for computers bought in store. Uh, what I can do is I can transfer the Geek Squad. Geek Squad can transfer you over to, uh, to one of our other representatives over the phone uh, with an installation of software. No, this is I'm going to call you. I just got a phone with Geek Squad. Okay, I'm unable to assist you in form a service plan for your computer. Member joined. That's it, if I, if I join, if I come in and, uh, y'all can install Windows on my computer? In store? Yes. yes. Okay, this is not a store. Well, they just transferred me. I've been helped out for different people. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I mean, I did intentionally, I intentionally try to redirect you to this department. But, um, I, I, so, they're try, so you're trying to speak to a store representative? I'm trying to speak to someone that can help me install Windows in my computer. Okay. Well, you have two options. Okay, of course. Uh, one, we have our, our Geek Squad line that it can assist you with the installation. Uh, the other option is you can bring that into the local store, and the store can assist you with the installation of uh, an installation. So if I bring it into the store, right? I'm sorry. They will help me install Windows on my computer. You can bring that into, into the store, and they will install it for you. Okay, okay. So well, we'll do that, that, right? I'm sorry. How much does that cost me? You would have to contact the store for that specific price. Unfortunately, I don't have that information. But they would be able to install that on the Commodore 64, correct? They should They should be able to install it. They'd have to take a look at it and be able to explain specifically what it is um, that they need to do in order to install that operating system. But they should be able to do that without a problem. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. And uh, so they should be able to assist you with that. Just go ahead and bring it in, and they'll take a look at it and be able to answer all your questions for you. Beautiful. Thank you. Okay. Yep. And Thank you for calling Best Buy. You have a good day. Thank you for being on the Osprey Radio Network. <laughs> 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 well, uh, there, there's a miracle waiting to happen. They install Windows 95 at a Commodore 64. Eli, we're really going to bring this down to Best Buy. <laughs> <laughs> Magic! Dude, they can get fucking <laughs> Windows 95 on a Commodore! Oh my fucking god! Alright, you can do that too, right? Uh, I don't know how. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hello? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. This is Kanisha. Hi, Kanisha. How are you today? I'm fine. How are you? Not bad. The reason I'm calling Kanisha is I have a can of Barks root beer over here. Mm -hmm. Um, It tastes horrible. Um, it, It's literally the worst tasting root beer I've ever had. Um, it, it tastes like it's almost been there for like five years. What's what's the shelf time on these? I just bought the 12 pack. Uh, well, it's definitely unusual, and um, actually, I um, definitely for a product is I'm anywhere from 13 to 18 weeks. 
Really? It, it, I, I swear to God, it tastes like it's been here for like five years. It, it, it's horrible. Okay. And, and <coughs> excuse me, just sipping, how, how, you, how would you describe the taste when you say it's horrible? Um, I've drank root beer all my life, and it's literally the worst tasting root beer. Okay. Is this your first time trying Barks root beer? No, it's, I've always drank Barks. Mm -hmm. This is just the most disgusting 12-pack I've ever bought. Okay. Describe the taste for me. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't, I'm not... Um, when you say horrible, I mean... It tastes it, like I was eating dirt. It tastes like dirt? Yes. I, 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 not that I've eaten, doing? Not that I've eaten much dirt in my life, but but uh, it, it, it really tastes pretty horrible. It, yeah. Okay. Let me go ahead and take a, um, a quality report. Okay. What, what, what do you need from me? This is a 12-pack um, fridge pack or a uh, regular 12-pack? The 12-pack fridge pack. And how many have you tasted from the 12-pack? Um, about three. And all three had the same taste? And they've all had the same taste, yeah. It was like, it seems like it was like a bad batch of mixture from on your end. I'm sorry? It seemed like it was a bad mixture on your end or something. Okay. Let me go ahead and start a quality report with your first and last name, please. Okay, my first name is Mark, M-A-R-K. Mm-hmm. Last name Osprey, O-S-P-R-E-Y. May I have your address, please? Sure. The address is, that's apartment 1B. And your zip code, please? And may I have a telephone number where you can be reached at the area first, please? Sure. It's 401. And is the best number to reach you, or is there an off-site number? Um, th that's an off-site number. That's my, uh, personal cell phone. Okay. Well, this way, if you want to give me a call after two, you know. Okay. Um, let me just verify I have the information correct. The first name is Mark, M-A-R-K. Last name is Osprey, and that's O-S-P-R-E-Y. That's and correct. That's correct. And what store did you purchase your 12-pack? I bought it at a stop and shop. Is that awesome? Uh, it's, uh, it's just a postal thing, you know. Okay. Yeah, it, it was just really the most disgusting root beer I've ever had in my life. Oh, I understand how frustrating that can be for you. And, and I've mm. even made my own in my time, you know, the nice alcoholic kind. Mm. And um, if that didn't come out as bad as this batch did. Okay, well, I'm so sorry that you had this experience. And what I'd like to do is continue with the quality report and share this information with our quality assurance group. And personally, what day did you purchase it on? Um, let me take a look here at a calendar. Um, pull it up on my computer here. Uh, can I pull this up here? Uh, I bought it Friday the 12th. Yeah, I'd like to get some information from one of the cans. Do you have it available? Sure, I got the can right here. If you look in the very bottom of the can, there's a series of letters and numbers starting with a date. If you could read that for me, please. The series of letters and numbers, sure. It's, uh, 23T72. 4C. Charlie Tango 872. And is there anything above there that starts with a date? Yeah, it's uh, May 3rd, uh, sorry, May 3005. I'm hoping that means May 30th of 05. That's correct. It's oh, nice. good. <laughs> and what letters after that? That's uh, H N, uh, sorry, N H B. Because I didn't know Root Bear could hold for a thousand years. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me just verify I have all the information correct. It reads M A Y zero zero five. N is in Nancy, H is in Harry, B is in Bob, or D is in Charles, T is in Tom, eight seven two. Yep. If you can look on the side of the can underneath the barcode, there's a series of letters and numbers um, in a silver box. If you can read that for me, please. Oh, jeez. And one more area. If you look on the top of the can underneath the tab, there's a series of letters and numbers in a um, diamond type shape. If you can read that. For Please. Okay, uh, going across, it's uh, 0, 3 dash 3. From the top to bottom, it would be W3E. W3B as in Bob. E, e as in Echo. There is no B. Okay. I'm going to place for just so I can get some information for you, okay? Okay. Thank you. I need to fuck this up somehow. Eli, ideas quick. Uh, uh, I want to see what I can get free. If you send me cash, if you want to walk off, then you can't cash it. They ain't going to send me cash. They'll send me a coupon. Uh, that's okay. okay. Hello, sir. Yes. Thank you so much for holding. I do appreciate that. Okay. And what I'd like to do is go ahead and share this information with our quality assurance group. Okay. It does sound like maybe the, um, the off taste you experienced was due to the product being exposed to extreme temperatures or direct sunlight at some point during the distribution process. Okay. And it can cause um, the taste that you described. So I'd like to go ahead and share that information with our quality assurance group and also send a replacement coupon for the 12 pack that you purchased along with the letter. That should arrive to you in about 7 to 10 business days from my headquarters here in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, the information you provided does tell us when the product was produced down to the minutes. It'll be very helpful um, to us in researching this issue further. 
If we could just hold on to the can until you receive our letter. And after that, feel free to discard or recycle it. Beautiful. Thank okay. you so much. Can I measure anything else I can assist you with today? Not at all. Thank okay. you so much. You've been absolutely wonderful. Oh, you're so welcome. How, um, you, you sound really young. How old are you? <laughs> you? You really do. You sound really young. Not as young as you think. <laughs> what, are you, what are you, like 22? No. How old? I'm uh, older. Older? Mm -hmm. well, why do you sound like you're laughing? Because <laughs> you sound beautiful. Oh, well, thank you. I really appreciate that. Um, I do have a reference number. It's a record of your call today. Would you like that number? Member joined. Yeah, sure. Okay, that number's 831. 831. 757. 757. 040. 040. Yes. Is, is that your home number? No, yeah, that's the reference number. Just in case you have to call back for any reason, you would present that number and it makes it easier for us to pull up your information. Oh, that's no fun. <laughs> I was hoping I was getting your phone number. No, unfortunately not. Oh. But I really, really do appreciate you calling and sharing this information with us. And if you do have any more concerns, just feel free to give us a call back anytime. Beautiful. Can I get okay. your personal extension so I can call you back? No, unfortunately, anyone that answer the phone can assist you. Oh, all okay. right. But they won't sound as beautiful as you do. Okay. Well, I'm sure there, there is. <laughs> but but uh, I'll, I'm sure that anyone, that when you call, if you had to call back for any reason, can assist you and, and more than capable. Beautiful, and okay. thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you so much for calling. You have a good day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Dude, what are you doing here? <laughs> Shit. That was uh, too okay. good here. Oh. Um, what, what's the number? What is it? That's, uh, Frank Santos, stage hypnotist. Oh, God, I've seen him before. <laughs> All right, what, what are you doing? You're saying that you got hypnotized and now you are now you can't get a penile erection? <laughs> <laughs> you want to do that? You can make that, man. That's all you. <laughs> Who want, Slash hasn't done one yet. Slash, get your ass over here. Tell Ma you need to do a show. Wait, 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 wait my, my mom's, mom's coming back, back dude. Uh oh Mom, Slasher needs to do a show. Because he can't get an erection. <laughs> hey, Eli, you want to call uh, the Gillette? Who, who did these? Uh, the Speed Stick Company. You want to call Speed I Stick? I say. Um, tell them you have this nasty rash under your arm that only comes in when, um, when you put on their deodorant and that, um, the deodorant smells really, really bad or something stupid like that. Come up with something. Okay, I'll try to get my money back. Make sure you send it to Mark Osprey. <laughs> I thought you couldn't get any income. That's not income, that's a rebate. Thank you for calling Colgate Palmolive Consumer Affairs. Please choose from one of the following two options. Press 1 if you are calling about a baby magic product. Press 2 if you are calling about a menin product. Which one? Good afternoon. Thank you for calling Colgate Palmolive Consumer Affairs. My name is Lisa. How may I help you? Yes, I have a particular Sorry, that's not our product. You're calling the wrong company. <laughs> My bad. That's okay. Can I just take down your zip code to document the call, please? Uh, uh, sure. 28052. 28052. Okay, thank you for calling. Uh, hey, hey, hey. You still there? Yeah, I cut it. Sorry, man. Oh, crap. You can call the wrong company, man. No, you're the one. No, we told you Speed Stick. Oh, I thought you had made Speed Stick. No, Menon does, which is the one we called. Oh. We're called Speed Stick. They didn't know that. Yeah, isn't that 1 800 Prove It? Yeah, yeah. Something like that. If you don't like it, they'll give you your money back. They'll buy you a stick of yours. A social engineer, man. Call them. I'll get a check. That's all you. Thanks for calling Old Spice. If you are calling about high endurance deodorant, press 1 now. If you are calling for high endurance gel solid antiperspirant, press 2 now. If you are calling for high endurance clear press, press 1. Press 3 now. Thank you for calling the Old Spice High Endurance Challenge Guarantee. Later in this message, we will be giving you an address. So please, have a pen and paper ready. Old Spice would like you to try high endurance deodorant because we're convinced that you'll agree it's the most effective men's deodorant on the market. If you're not satisfied, Old Spice high endurance gives you longer lasting odor than the leading stick deodorants. Just send the unused portion of high endurance and a cash register receipt to high endurance challenge gear. Uh -huh. PO Box 42687, El Paso, Texas 88542-0687. Uh, do you have an instrument that have live operators? We'll send you a check for up to $3.75 to purchase the product of your choice. The offer is limited to one per name, household, or address, and is available through June 30th. To
Hey, Eli, did you get anything off of them? Do you have the right one? No. no. They're, 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 uh, they have no op operator. They have no operator? Well, no. Uh, it was a recording. Well, we got to, we got through to the, to the Menon number, but uh, he asked for Gillette products, and uh, it, it was it was fucked up, but it was a funny fuck up, so. Fuck! So we call 1-800-PROVE-IT, and it's just a fucking machine. All right, we need a number then. Who can we call? Do you have the one with the monitor? Yeah, I got one. Do you want to switch? How about a bonding company? What do you got? A bonding company. A bonding company? Mm-hmm. What the hell is a bonding company? So are we going to be looking for bondage, <laughs> per se? When you go to jail and make you need money to get out, you can post bond. bond? <laughs> is that what this company does? Bond. Jail. Yeah, post bond, bond yeah. Alright, what are we, what are we going to do uh, for uh, it? Uh, you find it. We'll call, call up the meeting through Bounty Hunters. Go to zigzag.com. I have a number on the can. Okay. You call the bonding company? Where is it? 800 number? Yeah, that's the 800 number. Alright, give me the number. No, 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 what? Oh, it's your call correct. Huh? What? What? Give it up. Hang on. Call the number. Uh, yeah. um, can't use the phone right now. It's currently being okay. occupied. Yeah, yeah that kind of shit. Yeah, that does. Alright, what's the number? Yep. Four. 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 Five. Yep. Eight, eight, eight one. Eight one, yep. Eight four. Hey, I'm trying to get some poutine. Give me a break. So? That's assholes online for you. Goodbye. Yeah, why don't you call AOL and ask them? Oh. We've already called AOL, though. Yeah, yeah we could. Goo, any idea? Uh, uh, on your recruiter. <laughs> oh, dear. That's fucking with the government again. Oh, you could always call the FCC. Hey, whatever happened to that Windows company we were looking for? Did we ever find one? Oh, Windows company. Oh, the glass company, yep. No, we're not up anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Call it Microsoft Tech Support. Google, you want one? Oh, here we go. There, that's one we didn't get to last time. Microsoft Tech Support. Apparently, we can install install Windows on a Commodore. Oh, well, that works. What? Yeah, I just got off the phone with Best Buy, and they said that Best they Best Buy Ian Geek a, Squad. A, a Windows on my Commodore 64, and I can't do it, and I don't know the secret. Tell me, please. <laughs> no, we're not up anymore. I don't even have a hard drive. Should I give my computer Viagra? <laughs> it doesn't have a hard drive. Only well, it's a hard drive. <laughs> <laughs> it's only got floppy. Why don't we give this one to the newcomer? Let's give this one to Google. Yeah. Thank you for calling Microsoft Commodore Support 64. Sales for Premier Essential Commodore, uh, and Windows 95 on a Commodore. For technical assistance with the use or installation of a Microsoft product, press 1. Thank you for calling Microsoft Product Support and Services. Please listen carefully to the following menu as the options have changed. If you are using Windows 98, Windows Millennium, Windows XP, Office Application... Oh, here we go. Games, we'll put uh, Windows XP on it. Press 1. For Windows 2000... One moment, please. Here we go. We'll put Windows 98 on it. One moment, please, while your call is connected. Your call may be monitored or recorded. Soft software support. Please have your product key or account number ready. For Shit, we need a product key, quick. The identification number is found by starting the program and selecting the Help and About from the toolbar. If you haven't installed your software, the product key can be found on the CD case or paper sleeve. Thank you for calling Microsoft Customer Service. My name is Melissa. May I have your first name, please? Hi, Melissa. This is Michael. Thank you. May I have your last name, please, Michael? Uh, Osprey. O S P R E Y. Thank you. And may I have your telephone number, please? Sure. It's. I'll be working with you today to see how Microsoft can best assist you. How may I help you today? Um, I just bought a used computer off of a friend of mine, and he also uh, sold me a copy of. Uh, and I'm trying to install it on the computer, but I just can't seem to get it to work. Uh, you know, I, I got the disk in, but. It's not installing, it's not reading the disk at all. And uh, I, I don't know what, what to do. I mean, I called up Best Buy. They said they knew how to do it. But I don't want to bring it into them and then get charged an exuberant amount of money for something that should be simple. I, I know it should be simple. I'm, I'm not that very technical, but, you know, I, I it, everybody else says it's simple. I mean... Okay, well, you on your computer now? Uh, yes, I have it turned on. Okay, and it's not bringing anything up at all, is that correct? Uh, yes, I have a DOS prompt. Anywhere on your desktop do you see a My Computer icon? Uh, no ma'am. Uh, I have a, uh, all I'm seeing is a DOS prompt. Okay, what, can you read me 
me everything on the CD, please? Um, it doesn't really say anything on the CD. It just says Windows XP, you know, it's a Microsoft CD. He told me it was a good computer. I mean, it sounds like it's a good computer. It, 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 he said it's a, it's a Commodore. I mean, I'm not that technically inclined, but he said it was a really good computer, and the drive C is big enough. It fits the CD in there. Anywhere on the CD, there is a part number beginning with X. Um, no. Well, Unfortunately, the CD is in the drive, and I'm having trouble getting it out. Um, you know, it's, there's this funny little latch on it, and, and I can't seem to get the CD out. Um, like I said, I'm, I, I, I have, like, no technical skills at all. I don't even know when my friend isn't here to help me out doing this. Um, May I put you on hold for a moment, please, Michael? Thank you. One moment, please. We lost audio. That sucks. We lost part of the I audio. How much? I heard it all. Oh, did you get our... I didn't... No. Yeah. Thank you for holding, Michael. Oh, uh, hi. How are you doing again? Okay, on the back of your CD case anywhere, is there a product? Uh, he didn't even give me a CD case with it. It, it was kind of, he was having, digging through his basement, and, you know, he found this computer. He told me it was real good. He said it'd do whatever I wanted it to do, and he gave me a, uh, a copy of Windows XP and Windows 98, and I've tried to install them both, and, uh, you know, I, I, I was lucky to get the Windows 98 CD out of the drive. The, the XP CD is just stuck in there. I can't get it out either. I have the product number on the uh, on the Windows 98 CD if you want it. Okay, is that a uh, 25 digits with letters and numbers? Uh, it's on the back of the CD. It begins with an X. It's, I don't have the case hanging around. Like I said, he just gave me the CDs. They okay, got all we sorts of Microsoft it? holograms all over them. I mean. Because we would actually need a product identification number or a product key, Michael, in order to figure out your support. Uh, see, like, like I said, you know, I'm not very technical. I don't, I don't know about these things. This is my first computer that I ever bought, and you know, it looks kind of clunky and old. But he said it works and it'll do anything you want it to. So I mean, you know, he said that the Commodore was a good, was a good uh, computer. I, I, I don't understand. So you guys can't help me at all. We can't help you without either the product identification number or the product key, one of them, in order to, to know what your support rights are. Oh, okay. Thank you. Uh, well, like, like I said, my friend, you know, just kind of was cleaning out his basement. And yes, and if you need him, like, to contact him about getting the product key, if maybe he still has the case for the CD. Yeah. Um, if, if, if you can hold on one second, I'm, I'm going to see if I can find the, uh, the, the, you know, he gave me a stack of papers uh, with, with a lot of letters and numbers and stuff on them. Maybe that's what you're talking about. I'm going to go looking through it and uh, see what I see if I can find what uh, something that matches what you're describing. Darn record player. Hey, turn on the TV, huh? I found it. Okay, it's um R three M H Q W R three four H. Does this sound familiar? Yes. Okay, should I keep reading? Yes, please. Okay, it's a uh, 987T8. Is that 8 or H is in hotel? 8. 8. Um, then, then it goes to 49RMF um, 92DG. Th does that work? Is that the right one? Yes. And that, that, that that's for the Windows 98 it says on top, right? Number. This will just take a moment. Wow, you guys need some like hold music while you guys are, are looking up the stuff. Okay, well, thank you for your patience, Michael. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, the product you gave me is for Windows 98. Okay. And we do have two support options here for Windows 98. Okay. Our first option of support is our self help website if you could locate another computer with the internet. Uh, I'll, ha I'll have to walk a couple of miles to the library. Um, but I, 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 that, that sounds like an option. What's the other one? 
Our other option available today is a pay per incident, which is a thirty-five dollar charge to a major uh, credit card. But but Geek Squad told me I could call you, and you guys would walk me right through installation of a Windows ninety eight on my Commodore sixty four. Yes, but with Windows ninety eight, there is a fee. It's nearing the end of its life cycle, so it's considered an older Microsoft product. Wow, so I guess I really couldn't get support on this three one one floppy disk thing I have, then, can I? Is that for Windows ninety eight as well? No, the, the, the Windows 3.1.1 for work groups. It, it's it's Windows. It, I my buddy says it, it, it's an old old version of Windows. In case the other ones didn't work. So so can I install this Windows 98 though on my Commodore 64? Or did Geek Squad lie to me? Okay, I'm just checking now. Because I I, I can bring it to like Best Buy and they they can do it for less than $35 and they, they, they can do it themselves but uh, before I go try to give them money I, I, I want to make sure that they can install this Windows 98 thing onto my Commodore 64 Okay, let me put you on hold for a moment I can check this out Okay then Thank you <laughs> What idiots <laughs> <laughs> Gotta keep it down, keep it down <laughs> <laughs> Talk in X chat, guys. Go to X chat. Uh, go, go to the uh, the Osprey in the room in the Osprey network. <laughs> oh my god! I'm gonna ask her what she's wearing too, cause she sounds hot. Yes, <laughs> Geek Squad was. <laughs> That'd be funny. She does sound pretty hot though. She does. Sounds like she's like 20-ish. Thank you for holding again. I just checked with my manager and she said that she doesn't think that you can put it on a, put 98 on a Commodore 64. So Geek Squad lied to me then because they said you could. But she doesn't think you can, so it is, it could be doable. It could be, but we don't support that here, so we wouldn't have, even have any way of knowing. Really? So, so Microsoft says I can, that, that I could possibly put Windows 98 on a Commodore 64. Well, from what I understand, like nobody here is really even familiar with that anymore. They don't believe so, but nobody's familiar with a Commodore 64. It it, it looks brand new. It, it it really does look brand spanking new. It it's got this floppy drive thing, and it, 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 it's weird because I I thought I could do it. It's it's a Commodore 64. It doesn't have like 64 megs of memory or something. As I said, I'm a customer service representative, sir, so I'm not technically trained. Okay, and you don't have like a script that you could read me and tell me how to do it? I can look to see what I can find here about it. About a Commodore 64? Can you hear me now? Okay, I'm sorry, I was just checking. So, so do you know if Commodore 64 is even a PC or something? Because... Uh, but Geek Squad said it it was supported and everything like that and uh, is it just some kind of old game system or something? Honestly, I'm not even familiar with the Commodore 64. I had to ask my manager what it was. Oh jeez. How old are you, like 20? Because cause they're not that old. It was like last year's technology. And and no offense, uh, I didn't mean to upset you at all on that. Because I'm looking at the sticker right here and it says 19, uh, sorry, 2003. It says, yeah, something like that. More like... Are you still there? Yeah. We can hear it. Yeah, because this is getting really, really frustrating because I've called Geek Squad and Geek Squad told me to call you or to call Best Buy. I called Best Buy and they told me to call you. So I put two and two together and called you and now you guys can't help me. So did you find anything for me in there? In your wonderful little database of computer things? I'm just looking here, Steve. A lot of it's just bringing up Commodore 64 games. You're bringing up Commodore 64 games? What kind of games? I don't know, Microsoft put out games for Commodore 64? No, I'm looking on the internet to see what I can find. I, don't, I highly doubt there would be anything about the Commodore in our information. Really? Why do, you, why do you say that? Well, when I asked my manager, she said that it wasn't supported here. Oh, that's not good. It, it, the, it's not that old, either. So, the, you, so you, you just found those games online, right? Microsoft doesn't have any, do, th do they? Oh, uh, that's all depressing now. I'd like to speak with my manager. I can put you through to her because I'm going to be honest. I don't even know what a Commodore 64 is. Oh, 
So, so mm, that's not good. Well, when I put up the screen, though, I get I get a blue screen with a little cursor. Isn't that DOS? It, it, it's a it's a blue screen with a with a cursor. Um, should I just bring this to Best Buy, or should I try to call Geek Squad back and see if they can walk me through it? You can actually call whoever you would prefer to assist you with it. Okay, uh, but but Microsoft can't support that, can they? No. So so what's your final answer? Do you think I could get Windows 98 to work on my Commodore 64? Well, as I said, sir, I'm not familiar with it. I checked with my manager, and she didn't believe that you could. Yep, but but there is a possibility, though. Well, I would assume, but just from what I've been told, they didn't think it could be done, but... Oh, that's not good. So do I get the second best and... What, do I, what, what was your name? My name's Melissa. Melissa. So, so if I can't get that, you sound very, very helpful. How old are you? Well, I'm not allowed to give that information. Oh, you're not allowed? No? Oh, I was going to ask you out on a date or something. And take you out to a nice steak dinner. I, I, I got a real good deal on this computer, so I've got some extra money on my credit card. All right, then. I'll let you go, because I, I, I guess I'll just call Geek Squad. Come on! She hung up! <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't help you acting like a fucking moron, Paul. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, I know, I saw it, I saw it. Can I talk to your supervisor? You've been very helpful, don't get me wrong, but I'd like your supervisor's opinion. Yes, I heard that. Too bad. He was too busy in the morning. He was too busy in like me. Don't hit on to something because you're acting like crazy. Oh, yeah. Time Warrior needs to learn how to freaking not to have a he uh, head headphones on because he, he likes the damn echo. Uh, I, I'm just sitting here like trying to find a Windows 98 key. And I'm like, shit! I get him getting all these Windows errors trying to fucking find it. And I'm like, hey, God, 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 God. I'm like <laughs> the chant of the idiots. Oh my God! All right, who's next? Because Microsoft sucked. I don't know. That wasn't <laughs> <bad. laughs> according to Microsoft, there is a possibility. Yes, according to Microsoft, there is a possibility now, that we now, could now get it Now remember, ladies and gentlemen, you have to post this on every news group you know. Oh fuck that! This is Osprey material. Oh yeah. This is all Osprey. How about Glass Depot? Hand me the earphone, damn it. Glass Depot? Do you want any, uh, Slashy, you haven't done one yet. Uh, I, I, I just like to sit and Ah, uh, you need to do one, though, Slashy. You need to do one. You, you need to, you need to call them about your windows. And tell them you're looking for Windows technical support on a Commodore 64. <laughs> How's that sound, Slashy? You want it? Uh, uh yeah. yeah. Alright, Eli, this 800 number is the glass place, right? Hey, you come from Slashy, not me. Yeah, how about a little quicker, you dear dumbass? What is it? What is it? Okay. What is it? 1-800-987-6750. The toll-free number you have dialed has been disconnected. No further information is available. Oh, that's a good number. <laughs> that's a good number, dickwad. That's good. Has been outsourced to China. Yes, if this has been outsourced to Bombay, India. Oh, who did I call that I got Bombay, India? Um. Uh, Earthlink. Earthlink. Ah, uh, no, I called somebody else recently for an actual reason. Um. Yeah. The, 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 the hypnotist is, is one of. All right, give me the hypnotist number. Uh, Eli, you can have this one. Oh, oh okay. Oh, one more one for that. you went to one of his shows, and now you're having a penile erection problem. No, erectile dysfunction. Yes, erectile no, no, dysfunction. I'm not that. <laughs> Tell him you, you you were sitting in the audience. You never actually went up to get hypnotized. No. But no. you don't remember much of his show. Well, no, because he, he, you know, guy is not stupid. He don't. Who's seen him? Tell me about, about him. Do. I'm alive! Ha ha ha! I'm alive! I'm, I'm, I was in the audience at one of your shows, and, and now I'm having a screaming headache, and I can't get rid of it. Ah, oh, fuck. I'm having malfunctions over here. Turning Thank you for tuning into in another pointless audio. Okay, I got it. Okay, I got it. We'll call a hypnotist and tell him that Jesus said what, was said what he was doing was wrong, and he needs to stop. <laughs> that works. Because he's doing the devil's work. Not yet. Hello? 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 Lucky? Hello? 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 
Hello. Hello. Is this Porky? Hello. This Hello. Porky. No, it's uh, Stinky. Oh, okay. How can I help you? And this is Mo. Never mind that I was looking for Porky. You're looking for Porky? Well, this is Stinky. Okay. Okay? Yep. Bye. <laughs> that was a fucking mock one. <laughs> we did all hear that, right? Uh, yeah, 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 I heard that. <laughs> that was actually somebody calling my house. <laughs> <coughs> oh my god. Alright, I think we're gonna end the show, guys. Alright, yeah. right, you gotta go call the hypnotist. Well, call the hypnotist. You don't have to. Good one, and that will be the end of this show. Oh, Tell me that you're wrong. You need to say you're wrong. <laughs> yeah, tell, tell him that uh, after We're here to save you show, the name of the Lord After Messiah. going to the show, you've decided you're going to start your own religion because hypnotism's wrong and you want to do a big complete thing against hypnotism. The Lord Jesus. Yeah, we're the society of anti-hypnotism. We're the society of anti-hypnotism. Yeah, okay, that'll work. Yeah. Alright, what's there. the number? Seven two four. Six two four. Oh. <coughs> Can you hear it? Hello, you have reached Frank's office. If you'd like to leave a message for Frank, press one. If you'd like to leave a message for Carol, press two. Thank you and have a great day. Hello, Frank. Oh uh, yes, Frank. My name is uh, Mark Osprey, and um, the reason I'm calling Frank is um. I, I went to one of your shows, and I, I've been absolutely devastated ever since I did. Um, I, I've been talking to God lately, and he told me um, that your show was from the devil, and I was hoping maybe you could give me a call about that at 1-800-CALL-OSPREY. Yes, it's C-A-L-L. O-S-P-E-E. -E. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much, Frank. And um, may God bless you. And please stay away from the devil because he's going to bite you. And it's such a bad thing. I can give you another number, too, if you need to talk. It's 401-765-4321. And he'll talk to you very well. And he, he will tell you about the Lord Jesus Christ and how he can save you from that devil. Have a great day, Frank. Bye-bye. You've been tuned. Call, call back. back. Go ahead, what? Call, call back and leave a message for Carol and tell her that you're disappointed. <laughs> tell her I'm disappointed in uh, what Frank said. She did not show up for your day. <clears throat> no, not this show. I'll call him back. We'll save that number. You've been tuned to the Osprey Radio Network. Broadcasting live on www.ospreynet.info. You've been listening to the Brings Audio Radio Program. With your host, two men, your co-host, you've got Eli, Flasher, Time Warrior, and the newcomer, Goo Goo. And you've been listening to Osprey Radio Network.